So one of the things that some of my students struggle with when they're really getting to grips with AutoCAD is what annotative um, dimensions or annotative annotations are, as well as what the annotation scale means. So that's what this video is about. It's about walking you through what is meant by the annotation scale and how you can ensure both consistency as well as you know graphical cohesion throughout a drawing set, no matter kind of what scale the drawing is as long as you're using the annotative properties of any annotations. So let's get started. So to demonstrate this, I've drawn a rectangle and basically this rectangle is 2400 by 2800. Now these dimensions are annotative dimensions and to that point, if we look here, we can see that there's a big version of the text, a medium-sized version of the text, and a little version of the text. And that is because there are these different versions of this annotation to be more appropriate depending on the annotation scale. So right now, it's stuck with the original scale I was working with, which was 1 to 50, even though I have changed this annotation scale to the 1 to 1 view. But if I go back to 1 to 50, it's still there. Now, if I change this alternatively to 1 to 20, we can actually see that the the dimensions are a much smaller text now. And that's going to be appropriate when it comes to a printed version of this. And if I went to 1 to 100, it gets bigger. Now, why are these text changing size even though it's the same object and we're just kind of showing it at a different scale. So if we go to the paper version of this, here's that 1 to 50 version, here's the 1 to 100 version, and here's the 1 to 20 version. And if we look, all of the text is the same exact size and that's because we've used the annotative text style in this dimension so it's able to adjust itself according to the scale of the viewport. So you might be wondering what happens if I've dimensioned something and it doesn't really do that. So let's just draw something to, to give ourselves something to, to kind of play with. So I'm going to do 800 and let's just say 750, 800 and across. All right, so we've just drawn a basic shape and now we're going to do some dimensioning. So I'm going to go into the dimension. So you can see right now that it's already set to the an annotative style and I can click linear and just click and dimension the shape. So do it again on this side, click and dimension this shape. Now what happens when I go to 1 to 50? These stay the same and that's because the 1 to 50 scale hasn't been added to this dimension. So to add it I need to actually go in select my dimensions. You can also do a right click and select similar. And here where it says annotative scale in the properties, I need to add some different scales to this. So if you know you might have this, this drawing at a bunch of different scales, you want to make sure you add the various object scales to this list. So add, I'm going to add 1 to 50, and I'm going to add 1 to 20. And you can add any scales that make sense for where you're showing this drawing. So now it adjusted the size and I can go 1 to 20, it's all small, and then back to 1 to 100, it's all huge. And if I go to the layout, again, on the layout where this is all on one sheet, even though each viewport is at a different scale, we can see that the text is still showing at the same size. Now without this, this can make your drawings look very amateur and it could be that, oh, you have a huge number 750 on the, the 1 to 20 and it just looks like you, you aren't necessarily paying attention to what you're, you're showing on these particular dimensions. So really getting comfortable with annotative dimensioning and the annotation scales will help make your more complex drawing sets look much more professional. So I hope that helps explain the difference between annotative objects and what the annotation scale is.
If you liked that video, check these out and click to subscribe where you'll be the first to see new videos I release every Monday. Thanks for watching!